An effort to spruce up a local skate park could end up saving taxpayers money. KSNT News reporter Willis Scott tells us about the project and why not everyone is excited about it. Willis? Jason Brook, this is the second year for the Arts Connect Paint Day at Ripon Park. It was supposed to happen today, but was put off until tomorrow because of the wind. Despite the weather, one artist showed up to do his thing today, and one skater had something to say about it. From the time his kids could walk, Chad Barker would take them to the skate park. Now they're grown, and he wants to give something back to the park. I'm doing this um, tattered banner. Uh, with Live Skate Dive. It's the name of a local skate organization. He also painted their name in the Arts Connect Paint Day last year. Arts Connect Executive Director Sarah Fazell started the project with the goal of making the park look better. We took a little bit of a gamble and told Parks and Rec that we thought that if they were to stop covering up all the graffiti, that the graffiti that would stay would be better quality. But not everyone likes the changes. Pulaski Hobart has skated at Rip On Skate Park for more than a decade. He says the project is replacing artwork he and his friends created. We come out, we have put up all of our graffiti or street art throughout the years, and it's gotten covered up within the week. While he agrees with covering up obscenities, Hobart thinks the Parks Department and Arts Connect should leave other graffiti in its place. Art is objective and everybody has their own version of what art is, so just because one particular person doesn't like a piece doesn't mean it should be covered. Fazell says while they've received enthusiastic support from some in the skating community, she doesn't want to step on anyone's toes. Our intentions are authentic and we are happy to do things differently if what we try the first time doesn't work. Barker hopes his work will be welcomed by the skaters at Ripon. I kind of use it as an opportunity to write something that I think the local skateboarders will enjoy reading or, or seeing. Sarah Fazell says the project will save the Parks and Recreation Department money. If the new art helps stop graffiti, the Parks Department won't have to pay to cover it up. She says that money could then go to putting lights in the park. Brooke, Jace? Interesting idea there. Now, the project was open to anyone who submitted an approved design. And tomorrow's Arts Connect will supply free paint to those artists.